Hi everyone, it's Mary. Um, today is a nice, cold, snowy, 12-inch day here, so uh, I decided to start and complete a project. Um, yesterday, uh, on my way to the hospital for my uh, monthly infusion, um, I had to stop at Michael's because I had called and they had um, some of those uh, little boxes with the elastics. So I asked that they uh, hold them for me. So I was able to get some of these, the um, wallet type ones, um, and the uh, little square ones. And they also had these uh, like ovals so they were nice enough to hold those for me um, and then I decided since I was there and it's about 45 minute drive away from my home um, that I'd stop at AC Moore as well because I had a gift card and when I was there um, they had these boxes I mean I don't know if anyone has seen these but they're uh, they're like a cigar box um, and they're old, they're just called ready to decorate. They're about eight by five or six. A um, plain white box. So this was my project for today to alter one of these boxes. Okay, so um, this is my box. Um, I started out by painting it um, this dusty mauve and after that I um, gave it a good coat of this deco art uh, weathered wood crackle medium and when that dried I painted it with this uh, folk art metallic champagne color uh, to get the crack crackle effect with the rose underneath and I painted the inside um, gold, a metallic gold. Okay, so on the top of the box I had some um, printed tissue paper so what I did was I cut out some of the patterns, the roses and such, um, and I mod podged it down. Um, then I added this trim that I had gotten from Joanne, um, and I added this white lace, and what I did was, on the edge of the lace, because it was such a bright white and I didn't want to color the whole thing, I used my um, Prismacolor marker in Sable and I just uh, colored the edge of it so that it had a hint of color. And these um, iridescent pearls are right here. Um, they're actually a pink color. They don't show up as pink for some reason. Um, but they have a crystallized effect to them. So I went all the way around here with the pearls. Then um, I added this button here as a closure. I got that from Sean's um, in a rack. And what I did was is I made a loop of the pearl the uh, strand of pearls and I made it just big enough to um, go over the button as a closure and then I added a uh, big white flat back pearl right there to um, dress it up a little bit. Um, all the flowers on the top of the box are from um, these here are some awesome latex flowers that I got from Alay, that's Gentile on YouTube, as well as these. Um, the others are from 
uh, Wild Orchid Crafts and um, I Am Roses. Uh, these ones here are these little ones, the pink ones, are from the Recollection Sale. And these um, pearls are from WannaScrap.com. Uh, All their flourishes are um, $1.29. And they have a variety of colors, so that's a good deal. And I also like did some ripping and uh, staining. Um, I added some lace on the inside um, with a few roses and I distressed the cover. What I'm probably going to do is put a poem in there because I think this is going to be a gift for somebody. And um, on the feet, I, um, I made Char's feet. Hi, Char. Um, these are uh, bead caps, and you do them upside down with a um, one of those uh, jewelry pins, and then you do the last one upside down also. So that's pretty cool. I distressed the box um, to make it more more vintagey. Um, I like the the texture that it came out. Um, and then when I had everything done before I put the embellishments on, I um, modged podged it with this um, shimmer mod podge. So that was my project for the day. That's my shabby chic box. Um, I hope you stop by, take a look, um, and let me have your comments. I hope you're all staying warm and comfy and wherever you are you don't have um, a foot of snow like I do. Okay, uh, have a great day. Good night. Much love.